Hello and welcome to today's episode of Dear Kev, the show where I give you the terrible advice. The best, worst advice, one could say. Uh, these questions today are from six brown chicks on Twitter. Follow them for the foolery and shenanigans. So we can begin again. First question. I loaned my ex and his baby mama $400 to pay their rent. We've been sleeping together all this time. She found out we're still creeping and said he's not paying me back. His was my payment. He cut me off. How to get my money and him back. Listen, guys. Wise man once told me, if the child is under three, just assume that the baby mama and him is having the sets. This is why on the last episode of Insecure, spoiler alert, you can't, you can't let him go. I mean, you can't let him stay, Issa. He, his baby mom, that's familiar cooch. It's warm. You know the areas, the up, downs. It's like, ah, oh, this cooch, I know. This cooch I successfully impregnated. This is familiar to me. And I cannot let go of familiar. It's comfort. That coochie is like mashed potatoes. You're like, oh, I know. I love mashed potatoes. I had mashed potatoes all the time. A little bit of garlic. Little bit of garlic. Cheese a little cheese. You can, I mean, who's going to throw away good mashed potatoes? I mean, your mashed potatoes might be great, but, like, that coochie is like his mom's mashed potatoes. It's like, I mean, this is cool, but my baby's mom, it's near and dear to my heart. So much so, I impregnated that cooch. Uh, I put the gravy in the mashed potatoes. White gravy, not the brown. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so yes, it's going to be a problem. You knew better than to get a full horn, and now you're caught. See, a lot of times in life, Joshy Gons, we make bad choices that we know are bad. And then when something bad happens, we act a surprise. Why are you act a surprise? You knew you shouldn't have gave him the 400. But now the 400 is gone. What I say to you, charge it to the game. Next question. My third baby shower, and it seems my baby's daddy's family is cheaper with the gifts, and it's disrespectful. First baby got a used stroller. Second got a little Debbie cake and a baby monitor. I'm a recovering addict and I need good gifts to help keep me sober. Advice to make them do better. Yeah. The first gift was a used stroller? Dang. Little Debbie cakes and a baby monitor? That's just stuff you, like the Debbie cakes is just stuff you had at home. That ain't a true gift. You didn't go out and buy it. Just let me see if I got a honey, I got a honey bun here somewhere. Let me, let me, let me see where that honey bun is. I found this out, Josh. Apparently, it's taboo to have more than one baby shower. Your first baby shower is supposed to be your only. You're supposed to just have it from there. This is not the case in the black community. Josh, is it the case in the Hispanic community? Absolutely not. Every baby gets a shower. Y'all wanted me to have kids? Have another one. This is all you can do. This is the least you can do is chip in for el bebe. Um, man. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I'll say. You can't use your sobriety as a as a way to get good gifts. You got to let the baby go over there dirty. Let the older babies go over to the house of the family dirty. So where people are like, dang, man, I got to I'm going to have to like help her. That baby's dirty. Let the baby go with no shoes. And, uh, you know, once I see that. They'll be like, okay, we got to get the baby some shoes. You know, Debbie cakes, baby, brand new baby can't eat Debbie cakes. Um, also, maybe get your tubes tied. Or don't. I don't know. I don't want to tell a woman I don't know what to do with her body. Vasectomy for your baby's father. Yeah, man, snip his body. Let your tubes free. Let your tubes flow in the, in the, the liquid. Like, hey, man, we're too old. What's that? The sperm? Oh. Gotcha. <laughs> I got it. My fallopians. Oh, oh, oh. Nah, kicked it out. Period time. Push, 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 push. Oh, pregnant time. Got one. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Dancing is a skill. Not a skill I have. But I could learn it on Skillshare. Oh, yeah. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. 
Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Break up the routine of a day spent indoors. Explore workshops, classes, and more in topics such as graphic design, illustration, photography, productivity, uh, entrepreneurship, and everything like that. A creative challenge and partic- a creative challenge or productivity class may help in small settings and help with a feeling of accomplishment. I've actually graduated from uh, graphic design to uh, photography, Josh. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, Josh. I want fire selfies. I want fire pictures of of, uh, of landscapes. I want to take my own pictures and put my own art up. So I've been taking some photography classes on Skillshare. And I'm coming for you, Joshy Gones. It's going to be Kevy Gones. We believe that a strong community is essential in times of hardship. Tap into the support of fellow creators who provide encouragement, communication, and inspiration. Connect through creativity. For those you can't see in person, creative projects are a meaningful way to say what you're feeling. Give a gift you made yourself or craft a personal message. Explore your creativity and get two free months of premium membership at Skillshare.com slash dear. That's two whole months of unlimited access to thousands of classes for free. Get started and join a day by heading to Skillshare.com slash dear. That's two free months of unlimited access to thousands of classes at Skillshare.com slash dear. Next question. My boyfriend's ex died back in April. She choked on ribs at a barbecue. Now he's trying to be father of the year to her kid. He breaks dates with me to do things with a one-year-old, and it's ruined our relationship. I feel like I've wasted six months dating him already. Advice. <laughs> oh, man. Yo. <laughs> There's just no way this one's real, Josh. Six brown chicks. Come on, man. She didn't choke on no ribs. <laughs> Didn't choke on no ribs, guys. <laughs> oh, ain't no, oh, baby back. <laughs> she choked on the ribs. He was like, I want her baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Chili. Oh, man. <laughs> he breaks days with me to do things with the one year old. You stupid baby. I hate you, baby. Where's your mom? She died on ribs. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I can't get no advice, Josh. There's no way this one's real. I, I can't take it seriously. She said he choked on ribs. I, I, I refuse to believe it. <laughs> a lot of these are questionable, but choking on ribs <laughs> is where I draw the line. <laughs> ah, next question. Ha. <sighs> I was caught receiving oral from a coworker and I got fired. The termination papers were sent to my home and my wife, we were married just three months, opened it. She says she forgives me, but now she got me on a 6 p.m. curfew. If I miss it, she'll leave. I'm a grown man. Advice. Here's my advice. Come home at 7. You grown? You ought to have your little peety whacker out there getting kissed on. Hmm? You was grown then? Come on, sell them. Hey, let them. See what happens. How you, people getting ore on the three months, people cheating three months? That's probationary. Bro, it's probationary. It's 90 days. 90 day fiance, 90 day husband. I don't understand why you're getting cheated if you if you got to have your peedy whacker licked after 90. You just get an annulment. Man, people be cheating. I've seen so many, so many instances of guys cheating at the um, on the the weekend of the wedding. Like if you if you say it to me and you, I won't even marry her. Like dang, maybe you should not be getting married. Here's the advice: be grown, be all the way grown. Come home at seven, okay? She gonna go to you, uh, say, "Oh yeah, I'll suck your peen." She gonna chop it off. Hmm? What you gonna do with a stubby peen? You gonna pull your down, your pants down, and your peen's gonna be like, "You know what you did to me, ah, baby, now." Ah, nothing. I'm the end of the bread. Nobody wants me. They passed me over for the other slices. Go on without me. That was just the bread. (laughs) Sucks to be you, man. You lost your credibility with her. But maybe you can at least get your credit back with Lightstream. If you're like many of us, you carry a balance on your credit cards. All of those cards come with high interest rates. You need to check out Lightstream. 
Livestream can help you lower your interest rate and save money with a credit card consolidation loan. Quickly roll its balance from, from multiple credit cards into one single monthly loan payment. Get a rate as low as 5.95% APR with auto pay and no fees. I told you before and I'll tell you again. This was the final step in me and Melissa getting out of revolving debt. Now, student loans, I couldn't do anything about that. But my credit card loans, oh, yeah, rolled them on up. The application is 100% online. You don't have to leave home to apply. Livestream believes that people with good credit deserve a better loan experience, and that's exactly what they deliver. Just for my listeners, apply now to get additional rate discount to save even more. The only way to get this discount is to go to Livestream.com slash deer. That's Livestream.com slash deer for an additional discount. L-I-G-H-T-S-T-R-E-A-M dot com slash deer. Subject to credit approval. Rate includes 0.5% auto pay discount. Terms and conditions apply and offers are subject to change without notice. Visit Livestream.com slash deer for more in for a main Next question. I was in a long distance relationship with my boyfriend for about six months, three hours apart. We're in the same state and his baby mama calls me nonstop. He says they don't have anything going on, but this past weekend he went MIA. What should I do? He wasn't missing in action. He was in action. Okay, he wasn't MIA. He was he was IA. He was in action. And what was the action? Peen in the gene. Well, you guys write in. You know what it is. You don't want to know the truth. So I'm going to lie to you. Make it sound fly to you. Yeah, you don't want to hear the truth. So I'm going to lie to you. Make it sound fly to you. That's an old Goody Mob song from before I was saved. Listen, what you should do is move six hours apart. When you when he goes home, say, hey, man, uh, next time he comes, hey, come visit me. Come visit me. It's your turn to drive. And then when he gets to your house, be gone. Like have moved. And he comes, knock on the door. Door opens. Cree. He opens up, looks. Empty house. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Final scene. <gasps> Where is she? You moved. Moved to Fairbanks, Alaska. And you're like, why Fairbanks? Looks nice. I saw a Hoarders episode there. I mean, the Hoarders house was gross. But the city looked beautiful. I was like, man, Fairbanks is, is pretty nice, actually, in the summer. And you could get to see, like, wildlife. They have mooses. Meese, moose. There, what's plural moose? Moose. I saw two moose. Mice. Look at them moose. Anyway, you could see moose. That sounds weird. I saw a moose, or I saw multiple moose. It is. Oh, you're thinking with the moose and, and platypus as well. What was you on? Platypus. Platypus. Platypuses. Platypus. We'll go to a different animal. Move to Fairbanks, Alaska. That's the advice. <laughs> uh, where are we at? Fairbanks. Okay. I'm a Detroit girl spending the summer in Tennessee. I met a preacher. I drink and curse, and he doesn't like it. Time for sex, and he ties me down to the bed. I think it's freaky time, but he starts saying prayers and splashing me with holy water. I'm st I'm still enraged. <laughs> Father God, we bless you. <laughs> thank you for the coochie. <laughs> you didn't have to do it, but you did. <laughs> we thank you for the slit, God. <laughs> Open up the door <laughs> to the promised land. <laughs> it's warm in there. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I know I'm fornicating God, <laughs> but your grace is sufficient. Ooh, oh, God, why would I waste your grace, God? Why would I waste your dying on the cross? Oh, I know the Bible says, shall I continue in sin that grace may abound? Surely not. But I'm saying, surely. Ooh, yeah, God. I got to understand the deepness of your love. I got to understand the unconditional parts of your love. Oh, yeah, God. How can I know the depths of your love if I don't break your heart? How can I understand how much you created sex for a man and wife if I don't get a little taste? It's just an appetizer, God. I don't need a meal, God. Let me get the wings, God. I just want to get a buffalo cauliflower, God. I just want a mozzarella stick and put it in some murder. <laughs>
I don't know. Y'all probably going to hell. <laughs> I don't know, man. Shoot, what you want me to do? Give you advice? Mm-hmm. Let them pray for the butt. For the butt, butt. Anyway, that's all I have today. Check out this shirt. It's amazing. Get it at messinabottle.com. Man boobs not included. We're here every Friday. See you next week.